Average is a lie. The concept of an average. The idea that you can describe as some sort of property of a data set with multiple numbers perfectly with a single number. This whole idea is a misconception and today I'll explain why with a couple of lovely examples. So first let's start the setup. The setup is really simple. Let's imagine that you are doing some science, you know, just some basic science as one does on the Thursday evening and for your scientific experiment you need some sort of human age distribution. So we've gathered together a bunch of people, asked them about their age and wanted to publish a study where you would mention the average age of that group of people. How would you do it? The most basic option we are all familiar with is the arithmetic mean. So just sum up all of the samples and then divide them by the number of samples. Next up we have a very common way to get the halfway point. So once again the average, but this time with a median, which looks like this. And don't worry, all of them are gonna be this unreadable. Don't worry is actually very simple. In the dataset we have sampled 3000 people with the ages 0 to 100. Now, in order to calculate the median, we just go one by one and we check how many objects there are on the left and on the right. We stop once we find a spot where there are the same amount of objects on the right as on the left. Now, in this case, the numbers are integers, so it's quite rare that we get a 1500, 1500, but that's the idea. Then we have a mode, which sounds really fancy until we realize that's just the highest number. That's... That's all it is, it's just the highest. Not all of them have to be fancy, some of them can be just plain and simple. But there are way more ways to get an average, so here's a short list of a couple of notable mentions. In the bottom left corner we'll have our distribution, in the top left corner we'll have the equation describing our average and in the top right corner we'll have the reasonable equation describing our average, you'll see the difference soon enough. In the bottom right corner we'll have the actual value for our example, our example being 3000 random people 0 to 100 years old. So first we start the usual arithmetic mean, just to see how this works. Then we can upgrade it to a weighted mean, where every value is multiplied by weight, change the importance of specific values. Then we have the harmonic mean, and I think I might need to do a separate video about this because the math for this is really interesting. Now next we can expand the arithmetic mean, something which not many people realize. We can actually expand this mean into higher order means, like the quadratic one, cubic one, and on and on and on. Here you have the generalized version. But we don't need to add them, we could also multiply them. In order to balance out the multiplication, we just need to root the thing, but it's also an option. Now yes, there are way, way, way more ways to get an average, but something which you might have realized is that none of them are perfect. Absolutely none of them give us the result we actually want. None of them would reflect perfectly on your samples. None of them would actually represent what the distribution looked like in real life. And there is a simple reason for that. You see, you can't really describe a dataset with multiple general random numbers with a single number, because you'd have to lose some information. But the basic idea is so simple and intuitive that I don't really think it requires a dedicated explanation. It's just with the, in that dataset, you have multiple numbers, and so you can't really compress them into a single number without losing some, that's obvious. But why is that important? Well, it's because in our day and age of information, we really often get bamboozled by numbers without actually checking what they mean. You have to understand our world is a very complex place. We have billions of people interacting in billions of different ways. It's impossible to keep track of everything. So we really often abstract to these really neat and convenient simple numbers. But these numbers lose information, just like this. So it's really easy to get amazed by a single number. But that's all this, a number. Trust experts, not numbers. For now, no be it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.